Hey guys, Murph back again with another quick do-it-yourself video. Today we're redoing an apartment and we're painting a ceiling for now. I'm going to be doing the walls and stuff. We'll probably do separate videos on that. But this is just on basically painting the ceiling. Um, a lot of times you can get away with not painting a ceiling if somebody wasn't a smoker or didn't get it dirty. And usually it'll be okay, but sometimes you have to do it. This apartment, a person was a smoker, so the ceiling yellowed. Now I painted everything already, but I'm just going to show you what I did to get the end result. And uh, first of all, I like to use this paint. This is Valspar. They sell it at Lowe's. I know the paint got all over the label, but it's actually called Color Change Paint. But it goes on like a light purple color, and when it dries, it gets white. So a lot of times too, if you have to paint a ceiling that is clean and the paint matches and you really, it's, it's hard to tell where you're painting. You can use this purple paint. It's got a tin in it and it'll kind of give you an idea of where you've painted and where you haven't painted, okay? Now, I'm gonna point this up at the ceiling quick and show you we have a light in the middle of the room. Now what I like to do with the lights is anything like this, you have to paint around it. So what I'll do is, I'll get, if I can find my paintbrush. Where did I put it? I get these painter cups, you can get them at Lowe's. They're cheap. You just get one of these, it's got a handle so it's easy to hold and it's magnetic on the one side to hold the paintbrush in place, okay? So what I did is, get a little step ladder, make it easy, dip your paintbrush, wipe it off so it's not dripping all over the place, and go around. Now the paintbrushes I use have like a tip on them, an angled tip, and it makes it easier to cut in that stuff. So I use the tip, the long tip out, and then go around, and you know, just push these around and go around, and paint it, and as you go, and as you can see, this was already on here, somebody had to smudge this up, but I cut it in perfectly and they get paid on anything. So that's a good way you can do that. And I did the same thing, there were some smoke detectors. I went around those. And then a quick way to do corners and edges, I'm gonna show you real quick. So I like to get these little cloth rollers and they're cloth on the end. Make sure on the end of the, the roller it's cloth. Some of them have like a plastic button on the end, okay? You just take this, you dip it in your paint tray, get a cheap paint tray at Lowe's. And they make these longer too. I like to get the longer ones. This one's a short one, but it still works for what we're doing. So you take that and you just go down the edge of the roof, or ceiling I should say. And I'm not gonna do it again because I don't want it to get a different tint than the rest of it. But you can see how like, it, with the cloth on the end, it gets right in the edge and makes things real simple. So I'll do that and go around all the outside corners of the room. And you can get paint on here because you start at the top and work your way down. Okay? You know the old saying, crap rolls downhill. So start at the top. And then we'll do, I'll do walls, a separate video on walls. But you go around, do all that. It's quick and easy. And then you got to cut it in with a paintbrush. And then after that, of course, use your paint stick. It makes it easier so you don't have to get up on a ladder every time. And then do all your edge, your corner, whatever you want to call it. And then take your full-size roller, put it on your paint stick, and do the rest. And it's real quick and easy. It makes things a lot simpler. You know, I've seen people do it a lot of different ways, but it seems like the way they're doing it takes more time, it takes longer, it's more cutting in with a paintbrush. So I just wanted to do a quick video on how to paint your ceilings and get it done real quick and easy and what you need to do it. I'll see you guys next time.